I want to talk today about our research on trying to understand what it means to build the recommender system that is fair. Imagine we're building a recommender for when a user opens their phone and we want to suggest videos, apps, websites that we think will be interesting. We know the user, their history, maybe the time and the device. In this case, the user is a developer, and so we recommend to them a mixture of augmented reality content and machine learning content. And it seems it did well. The user clicks on and installs this AR Core app. Another user on their phone gets their own set of recommendations. It turns out they're interested in machine learning content, and so they click on this TensorFlow video. And the question is, did the system do a good job? Is it meeting our fairness goals? And the way we think about this is, is it supporting the AR and VR content well? And is it supporting the machine learning and TensorFlow content well? And these two topics might not be the most important, but in building a recommender system, there often are many topics that are really important to make sure the system is supporting sufficiently. And so we look at this and we see, well, for this orange user, the item that they were interested in, this TensorFlow machine learning video, was in a low position. And maybe worse is that it was below most of the other topics, the augmented reality items. And so we want to be able to measure these two concepts at scale, but there are a bunch of challenges. First, this is a personalized system. Each user has their own preferences, and each rec set of recommendations are different. This introduces measurement bias. We only observe feedback, those preferences, on the system's previous recommendations, and mostly those that were in high positions. We care about more than clicks. We actually want the users to enjoy the items. But we only had to observe the user experience for the items that were clicked on, not those that the user may have been interested in in a different context. And so we introduce a bunch of methods to deal with these challenges. First, we use pairwise accuracy to understand does the model rank items aligning with the user preferences? And we use randomized experiments to overcome some of those measurement biases. We use a pairwise regularization to encourage the model during training to optimize for these goals. And we demonstrate in a real world production system that this is actually giving some meaningful benefits. And with that, we hope you'll read our paper and come talk to us at the conference. Thanks.